Grace and peace to all the beloved brethren. I'm convinced that there is only one gospel unto salvation, and I pray that you are too. Hello everyone, and welcome to Belief is All. Okay, so now that I've shared the gospel and told everyone that spoon-fed, culturally accepted satanic dribble is... Well, spoon-fed, culturally accepted satanic dribble, we can get into some of the common arguments that immediately come up when you begin to speak on grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. Starting with the big one. James chapter 2 and verse 26. For as the body without the spirit, so faith without works is dead also. Man, this one is like clockwork. Comes up every single time. Sometimes you even see it in the comment sections of OGs like JackSmack77 who have been battling this stuff for years now. No one ever gets it. And likely no one ever will. Reprobation is one hell of a drug. But nonetheless, I'm giving my two cents on it, posting it for reference later, and hopefully imparting something to those who are just now hearing it through me or needed some confirmation on it. Now, we know that God can't lie and that the Bible is authoritative, so faith without works is dead ought to be a slam dunk, right? Well, like all things in the Bible, context matters. And I'm just going to come out and say it. Most people that deploy this verse really shouldn't be quoting it in the first place. Why? It's simple. Who are the people who deployed this verse? People who believe you have to work for salvation, which is false. They have another gospel, which means they aren't brethren. This is a necessary distinction to keep at the forefront of all apologetics. It says in Galatians 1.8 that if anyone, man or angel, come to you with a different gospel, let them be accursed. And accursed they are, because anyone that would use James 2 and 26 is applying scripture in the same way Satan did to Christ during his 40-day fast, as a way to condemn and accuse the truth into error, rather than to uplift the body and teach the proper gospel. The epistles were written to churches, believers in Christ, who we know this because they say it. Romans 1 and 7, to all that be in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. See, God, our Father, this church believed in the gospel. Again, in 1 Corinthians 1 and 2, unto the church of God, which is at Corinth, to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus. See, they have the gospel. And looky there, our subject for today, James mentions brethren in the beginning of a chapter, not once, not twice, but three times, making it clear that this letter is for people that believe as he does. So anyone who is unsaved has no argument with James 2 and 26 because he doesn't believe in the gospel James did. He's not reminding you to work because he wants to see you be better and be beneficial to the body. He's using it as condemnation to say you aren't saved. He is a worker of iniquity trying to clown what he thinks is easy beliefism. Well, I cast it down in the name of Jesus Christ. No longer will this satanic gotcha have say here. Amen. Now, I'll be going into more detail on James in my next video, so watch out for that. But remember to test every spirit that approaches with scripture. Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, which is discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. I'm convinced that there's only one gospel unto salvation, and I pray after this that you are too. To my beloved brethren, grace and peace. God bless.